Hello, Aries. I know that you love everything short and sweet and to the point, so let's get going on your fabulous forecast for August 2020. Okay, we got to start here with Mars in your own sign in the first house. Oh gosh, I love when Mars is in Aries because it's just soaring. You know, when a planet is in its own sign, it functions in its purest state. So it's in Aries in your sign. Oh, look out world, here comes Aries. The only problem is that we are in the shadow of the retrograde Mars. And so we're start, we may start feeling it. Uh, not today necessarily, not this week, but as we get closer to September 10th, uh, we'll be feeling it. And I'll talk about it next month because the world will be feeling it. You know, these planetary placements and configurations are global. So in your first house, wherever Mars is. That's what comes first to us. That's what we fight with and fight for. Well, you're doing all that in the first house of me, me, me. And so you're saying, I'm doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I want. And I can hear some of your friends and relatives saying, well, Aries always does what they want, when they want, how they want, because they can. That's true. And it's more so now. Now, when it goes retrograde during that time, and I will cover that at the time of, um, it, it's going to feel a lot different. And then when it comes out of retrograde, oh my goodness, double whammy time. You will be just <laughs> taken off. So this is almost a preparatory time for you to get really clear that you're going to do it your way. And I hear every Aries out there saying, I already am clear on that, Maxine. Okay, moving along. Let's talk about beautiful Venus, the pink planet. Can you see it? It's very pale here um, I, on the screen, I'm noticing. It's like a shocking pink. Um, it's in your third house. It starts off in your third house of communication transportation, ideas, and you really are happier. Venus is love, Venus is happiness, and the way you're expressing yourself is with more happiness. If you get a chance to make, uh, make a couple of uh, spontaneous trips, short trips, you'll be in heaven. You really love uh, just hitting the ground and taking off, uh, speaking lovingly, maybe thinking in terms of loved ones, who are either still with us or have passed over, uh, crossed over. Um, but your ideas are very loving ideas, very happy ideas, which you want to focus on during this time in our world. Focus on the happy times. Now, on the seventh, Venus moves into your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. Time to beautify your home. That means vacuum for some of you. That means do the dishes for some of you. In other words, it's time to make your house pretty. And that means clear out the clutter, uh, et cetera. Renovate, decorate, you get the picture. Or just enjoy being home, sitting in front of the TV with a remote in your hand, enjoying your family and your home. That looks good to me. Now look at good old Mercury here, racing through three houses, of three houses. It's in your fourth house of home and family. So you're, you know, with Mercury, you get ideas on what you want to do. Mercury is not a doer as much as it is an idea person. It's been in your fourth house and you've been thinking, where do I want to live? What do I want to do? It's all thought. On the fourth, Mercury moves into your fifth house of children. Uh, and if you don't have kids, uh, you'll put even more energy into enjoyment, fun, and games. If you've got kids, you're still ready to party. And so this is a time when you're saying, I want to enjoy myself. 
and you will have help. Let me finish here and go back to the sun. So you're thinking of, of how can I uh, enjoy myself, maybe be more creative, if you're an artist especially, new ideas. Um, if you're a writer particularly, new ideas. And then on the 19th, Mercury moves into your sixth house of work, health, and service. Um, this might be a time when you go back to the gym or, you know, in everybody's neighborhood, there are places that you can use as a surrogate gym. Do you have a driveway that's like a ski slope? Go up and down that driveway, that ski slope a couple of times. There's your exercise. You don't have to spend a dime on it. Um, you maybe just taking a walk around the neighborhood. That type of thing will help your health because you'll be outdoors. Also, you may be thinking in terms of your job. If you've been working from home, you might be thinking of going back into the office. That's entirely possible. Now, I promised help. Look at the sun, the yellow planet. That's the giver of life. Wherever it is in your chart right now, that's, it, it brings life to that area. Fun and games and children, whether of the mind or the body whether your actual children or your creations. Um, but you're definitely, with Mercury in the fifth and the sun in the fifth, you're ready to party. Okay. On the 22nd, just a couple of days after Mercury moves into your sixth house, the sun joins Mercury. And you're able to take your ideas and implement them. Wherever the sun is, is where your leadership, your ego, your um, creativity shines. So be the leader at work. If you really want to work at home and you're hoping your boss will let you, verbalize it. And then give your boss reasons why you should be free to roam the living room while you're being paid to work. You know what I'm saying, work from home. Okay, the full moon on the third in 11 Aquarius 46 is in your 11th house of friends and group activities. And if you have been sheltering in place, you might find that you are led to step out there and be with friends and be a friend. I love the way that looks. And I think we're already feeling it. You'll feel it a, a few days ahead. And uh, today is July 31st, so you'll feel it now. Um, and remember my virtual full moon ceremony where you can uh, virtually link arms with people all over the world. That will be, I'll put it up this weekend and the full moon, of course, on the third uh, makes it great for those of you who can take advantage of the virtual uh, ceremony on the day of the eclipse. Uh, it's in, 11, let's see, 11 Aquarius 46 um, on the 3rd, Eastern time, okay. Now, two weeks later, we've got a, full, a new moon and it's right back here in that fifth house of fun and games. You're ready to party even more. This will be on the 18th. So find 26 Leo 35, in your birth chart, because that's where the new moon starts picking up. Um, and your solar chart, which is what I've got here, is always accurate and on the money. So that's the way August looks for all you wonderful Aries. I hope to see you soon. Uh, next month, we'll do it again. Until then, this is Maxine Taylor saying, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.